YOV 10D Night Observation Gunship System, NOGS, was developed in response to a prime operational requirement identified by the Commandant of the Marine Corps. The aircraft was designated the YOV 10D. As modified, it contains a day or night sensor developed by Hughes Aircraft for target acquisition and tracking and a flexible 20 millimeter gun developed by General Electric for primary armament. The tandem cockpit provides flight controls and instruments for both pilot and observer, as well as sensor and gun controls. The pilot has a five inch display for the FLIR and two simple control panels. One on the left for the sensor and gun and one on the right for his wing stores. In the aft cockpit, the operator has an 8-inch display. Immediately below the operator's sensor display are controls for sensor mode and gun selection. Three operating modes are provided. Manual pointing for navigation, fixed forward for conventional weapons delivery, and manual track for firing the gun. For tracking, the operator has a hand control at his right for pointing the sensor and the gun. The direction and amount of thumb pressure applied to the track button determines the direction and rate of slewing. The aft section of the fuselage is hinged, giving easy access to the utility bay in which most of the avionics and the gun feed mechanism are located. The hanging ammunition feed system has a capacity of 1,520 millimeter rounds. These may be high explosive, incendiaries, or armor piercing. The flying qualities and armament compatibility tests were performed at China Lake. The flying qualities of the modified aircraft were found to be satisfactory and very similar to the standard OV-10A. Aircraft performance, however, especially for single engine operation, was deemed marginal. More powerful engines were recommended for production systems. The armament, sensor, and airframe were found to be compatible in all respects. Here the gun is firing in its fixed forward mode. The pilot uses either his FLIR display or the OV-10's gun sight to aim for conventional weapon delivery. This sequence in slow motion shows the ejection of shell casings and belt links into the airstream. Here the gun is servoed to the FLIR sensor through the fire control computer. The gun fired reliably and safely in all directions. Compatibility with wing ordnance was also demonstrated. Rockets are fired. A fuel air explosive bomb drops from the pylon. Finally, a rocket cluster is fired during a 325 knot dive. The aircraft passes over a couple of tankers on the way to the target area. This is a practice target ship. The crew fires a burst of HE rounds along the deck. Here's a 12 by 24 foot wooden target barge being used for evaluation of the weapon system's shooting accuracy. Another pass at the barge. A marker flare was ignited by this burst and started a fire. A second burst fired in the water put the fire out. The following film was taken by a remote scope camera during actual missions. We're airborne now, heading toward the assigned target area. We look at several scenes on the way. A farm area. A village. A runner on a motorcycle. People at the right hand point of a fortification. A helicopter. Observation of riverine traffic. Some people moving around.
squigglies and canals. Now we're approaching the target area. Let's listen to the crew. Uh, this is a good turn. Give me a chance to look up the stream and see if there's anything in there. Okay, I got the hot spot on the water, or on the... Yeah, at the boat, hiding under the trees and people on it. All right, Casey, what we've got down here is a uh, camouflage boat and a squiggly. Okay, let's get, uh, for the record, ask him, uh, you know, does he agree with any area to open the fire and all that, because these guys are going to get away. And you can get away in the area. That's the Okay. Yes, they do. We get to shoot at him. Okay, here we go. In short, the Nogsplur flexible gun system has proven to be a viable concept, offering unique capabilities for conducting tactical operations day or night. 